Okay, welcome to another vlog of Carrie. Corey vlog, hashtag Corey cold. You know, it's getting kind of burr out here. It's getting cold though, but check out what I'm doing now. I mean, not lock myself out. I got another door open, but, so it's cool, but <sighs> checking out Ford leaking from a thermostat. How is it? This is it here. The rubber gasket. See, it's super loose. It's not supposed to be that loose. Like a broken rubber band. Well, we don't need that. So went on ahead and grabbed one of these to where it's not as loose. It's packed tight. If I can get it in there. Packed tight with the grooves. Look at this one. This one's just loose. Everywhere I've been at it, it, it comes down. The weight comes down more. But with this, the weight doesn't come down. It stays its form the whole way. Like, see? Even with this. But see? If your loop ain't that big with your gasket, it's a problem. shit out my damn hands this is what we're about to do here even though none of you can see which I'm highly disappointed about but this here is just thermostat that's just thermostat housing that it's in and as you see as it drip 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 it keeps leaking we want to make sure that all three bolts that are on here are on tight and that that gasket is in these like in the small crevices and make sure that it's not coming out or missing any rubber rubberness on it but that's another part reason as to why your um your antifreeze and stuff is is leaking That's another symptom. But we're going to go ahead and replace this. I don't have enough room to show you guys and replace it at the same time. And the person that has the vehicle that owns this car is not out here with me either. I told them that I'm here. They didn't respond, but I'm going to go ahead and fix this anyway. All right. Let me see if I can, like leave it here Let's see if you can get a good view if I can like cannot zoom in or out on this mode this sucks alright you want to make sure you clean the in and the outside of it also so I got a little small flat little piece here I keep getting hit in the head small flat little piece here that I'm going to use and then I'm going to make sure there's nothing on here that can jeopardize it coming out some sort of way or not being in fully and properly you want to line it up the way that it's supposed to be in line with the one loop hanging out there and the one loop hanging out there you want to you want to press it in as soon as you get it into a groove you want to press it in real good as soon as you get it into the groove you want to Press it in real good. Wanna 
make sure that it's actually getting in there. We got groove. I don't want any of this antifreeze getting in my damn eye. I need to see. Well, I'd have to be back. 